Hi, everyone. My name is Sean Jones, and I'm the CEO of the iNetrepreneur Network. And today I have an incredible dynamic individual. Her passion has to deal with numbers of all sorts, keeping businesses out of trouble and putting more money back into their pockets. She also works with the general public, uh, whether it's doing taxes or giving advice. Uh, Vanessa is also a longtime friend and a member of the iNetrepreneur Network. Vanessa Lucy, thank you so much for being here today. Yes, thank you for having me today. I really so, Vanessa, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. It's not often you and I get to spend this this time together. Now, I kind of highlighted a little bit, and I let the cat out of the bag. You are your passion. Well, one of your many passions has to deal with numbers, businesses, and individuals. Share with us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Okay, so I am Vanessa Lucy, uh, born and raised in California. Um, I have been, I have started my business about five years ago. I did start it initially about 11 years ago, but went really full time into it. Uh, now on my fifth year of being in business for myself. So I'm really excited that I actually could do this. I never thought I'd be an entrepreneur. I just thought I would be working for people and doing dead end jobs and just, I don't know where my life was going to go, just working for other people. So I am so excited to help people every single day uh, with numbers, um, taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. Um, I've been in the field for 20 years between jobs and my business. So I really know uh, the ins and outs of, of bookkeeping and payroll and taxes. So you, you've been in your industry for a long time. When did you realize that the path that you're on right now as that accountant working with taxes and payroll, that, that, was, that that's what you wanted to be when you grew up? When did you, when did you realize this was your path? That's funny because I didn't want to be an accountant growing up. I didn't like numbers. I didn't like math. So um, I wanted to be an actress, you know, being from California, who, who doesn't want to be an actress? That's what I wanted to be. And I loved performing on stage. Uh, but I had a job that saw my strength. Sometimes you don't see your strength within, you know, and I didn't see that accounting strength within. So they saw it and they're like, oh, we're going to put you in accounting. And as I grew in that position, I really started liking it. So then I changed my course of what I wanted to be in life. And I went and I got educated in accounting. Wow. Well, you're really, I mean, I, I, I will say you are excellent at doing taxes and the accounting. Um, I noticed that on, on that personal level, you really do find home what people are doing for taxes and you also do reviews of uh when people have filed with other through other accountants you'll do like an audit of their their last year previous year's taxes is that correct yeah i will i'll look it over and and kind of say hey this is what i see in this uh in these taxes so what can we do better for next year you know people come in and they don't want to pay taxes i get it I'm in, the, I'm in the same boat, but unfortunately, taxes have to be paid, but we can always come up with strategies to lower taxes or whatever we need to do. I, I like that term, using strategies. So what type of clients, so let, let's start there before we kind of dive into your strategies. Who are your clients that you really love working with that, that find the services that you provide meet and exceed their expectations? Um, the clients, let's see. Could you repeat that? Because I'm trying to think. Sure. Do you Sorry. like to work with like solopreneurs? Do you like to work with large corporations that have multiple employees, multiple locations? Are they here in, in your home state where you're at right now? Or do you work with clients all over the United States? What does your client, your ideal client really look like? 
You know, being in, being in business for five years now, I always thought I would go for the big corporations, you know, because there's a lot to do in a corporation, but I have really stuck with just the entrepreneurs. Um, I have a couple solopreneurs, but I'm more, more like five to 10 people in the business is really what I like to focus on. And, it, and, and what I've really been focusing on too is, you know, I'm huge in the restaurant industry, um, construction. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Uh, doctors. I have a couple of doctors, um, and like motor sports and that type of stuff. And those, all those clients are five to 10 people in that, um, business. And I really like to, to help those people because they're really gung ho about taking their business to the, to another level where solopreneurs, sometimes it's just them. They don't do what you really tell them because they know what they need to do or they think, absolutely (laughs) right. What we think, I love that. What we think we need to do. (laughs) So when somebody wants to come to you, um, maybe they they're starting up their companies or maybe they've been using other tax professionals and they're just, something doesn't feel right. You know, you just get that gut feeling, you know, there's still something that just you're not being guided on properly. What is, what does that look like when you take on a new client or somebody wants to interview you? What is your process? Well, I, I initially, they initially started with calling me or messaging me. And then I call them up for a few minute conversation on, on, on to get an idea of what they are looking for. You know, so I can kind of pinpoint uh, what we're going to speak to on the next meeting. So it's a couple meetings before, you know, we agree to work with each other because I have to know what they're looking for. And I really have to know what kind of situation I'm getting into in order to quote them or help them or if I can help them. You know, sometimes their problem might be way over my head and it might need lawyer status. Right. So it's initial conversation for a few minutes and then, Hey, let's make an in-person or zoom meeting. And then we'll speak further into the situation. So I really take the time with clients. Accountants don't really, a lot of accountants don't really have that extra time. They have their staff doing it. And I just, I, in this, in my position. My staff's more on the back end where I want to be in the front end. Okay. So you touched on some, sometimes there's attorneys that need to be involved with certain cases. If you have a potential client that comes to you um, that needs that legal, do you have, do you just say, go find your attorney? Do you offer referrals to help them get back on track to where then you can work side by side and and help with all the, the papers, processes, numbers. You know, I don't have a lot of attorney referrals. So I do say, Hey, I'll look into it for you to see if there's like a tax one, but really I don't, I, I don't have a lot. I have one attorney referral, but he, they're not tax. So it really has to be focused. Yeah. Very focused. I like that. Uh, And you mentioned that you're easy to reach. uh, And how can somebody reach out to to your company? Uh, Well, I have an office phone number that I can give. And then I also have my business cell phone number. That is what I use 100% of the time. Uh, do I say those? <laughs> Absolutely. Vanessa, okay. this is all about <laughs> you. I mean, we're excited. Right. Um, people who are looking, I mean, we let's face it, we've come out of COVID last year, right? Yep. We're still feeling the ramifications, some of our, our entrepreneurs that are out there. And what a great way, because last year was all about uh, really looking inwards at yourself and at your mm-hmm. business and trimming the fat and trying new things. And so there's a lot of uh, evaluation going on. So there are a lot of people that are, you know, even evaluating the professionals that they've hired to help them in their business. So how can somebody reach out to uh, Lucy Accounting? All right. So my phone number for my office is 480 656 9613. 
and my assistant will be happy to help you when you call there. My cell phone number is a better place to reach me personally. It's a business cell phone number at 480-284-2796. And Lucy Accounting strives on customer service number one. Yes, it's all about accounting and getting your books ready, your taxes ready, paying those payroll people. Uh, but number one is customer service. So that has to come first. I couldn't agree anymore. Vanessa, I want to thank you so much for being here today with us and sharing a little insight about who you are, what you're doing, how you're making a difference in the lives that you're touching. Well, thank you, Sean. It's so nice to see you again. I haven't seen you in forever and I love this opportunity. So thank you. Thank you. For those of you that are just uh, watching Vanessa Lucy, owner of Lucy Accounting, uh, Vanessa will be one of our panelists in our Art of Connection Virtual Global Summit happening in September 2021. For more information, just continue watching the end of this video. You'll have a direct link. And Vanessa, thank you again. Thank you.